that are in the session today. Um, we really appreciate you taking the time out of your evening to come and hear us talk about um, our new course, the Doctor of Physiotherapy at Curtin. I'm going to hand you over to Sharon Parry now, who is the course coordinator, who's going to talk about um, all the things that are about Curtin, but I'll quickly just talk about our faculty as well. So the Faculty of Health Sciences at Curtin is one of the largest and most comprehensive health schools within Australia. We're the largest centre of interprofessional education in Western Australia and we actually educate the more, most health professionals than any other West Australian tertiary institution. So um, on that I would say we're very highly regarded for our health students. Um, we've got excellent research facilities here and uh, the majority of our courses are all accredited nationally as well as internationally. Um, all of our industry links are quite strong as well, which means our graduates are quite job ready. We really do focus on um, not only the theoretical aspects of your profession, but also all of that um, practical training and clinical simulation throughout the course to make sure that you're, you're comfortable once you graduate in your job. Um, and we will also just, uh, we also have our Go Global, which is uh, one of our clinical placement organisers that actually do them overseas as well. On that Go Global, um, it is an award-winning international student mobility program. Um, it, we currently send students uh, to Cambodia, China, China, India and Vietnam, but also um, we started sending them to Nepal recently as well. And it just allows our students to see a different side to health outside of the Australian healthcare system, um, which I think is really important, especially nowadays, obviously you're in Canada, but there's a bigger aspect to health outside of our own country. So we just hope to kind of reinforce that within um, all of our courses here at Curtin. On that note, I will hand you over to Sharon, who will speak about our new course for Doctor of Physiotherapy. Hi there, everybody. I'm just. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, thanks, everybody, and, and thanks for coming and spending um, spending the time with us tonight. Um, just a little bit about the Doctor of Physiotherapy. We have. Um, had a Master of Physiotherapy, graduate and Master of Physiotherapy for quite a few years now. And we've um, introduced the Doctor of Physiotherapy to really acknowledge the quality of the course that we've already been, that our graduates have completed. Our Master of Physiotherapy was regarded already as an extended master's um, degree, which is what a Doctor of Physiotherapy is in, is in Australia. So by doing a few changes, um, extending the course a little bit and um, changing some of our units, We've been able um, to be um, given uh, the university approval to have this new course of the Doctor of Physiotherapy. So let me tell you a little bit about the course. Um, okay, so the um, the Doctor of Physiotherapy um, is part of our School of Physiotherapy, of School of Physiotherapy and Exercise Science, and we have been. Um, uh, graduating students in physiotherapy for more than 60 years. We have excellent facilities, um, custom built facilities, and you can see from the picture here on a beautiful campus here in Perth, WA. Um, our school is ranked seventh in Australia and in, in the top 100 globally for sports related subjects. Um, the school's been named among the world's top 100 in the latest Shanghai Rating Consultancy's Global Sports Science um, results. As I mentioned, we've got modern facilities for teaching, research and evaluation um, are fitted throughout the school, including a motion analysis lab, exercise physio uh, phys uh, physiology laboratory, strength and conditioning and rehabilitation laboratory and an excellent anatomy suite. Um, so the Doctor of Physiotherapy, as I mentioned, is a, um, a graduate entry extended master's course. Um, we have over a thousand hours of clinical placement spread, spread across the duration of the course. Um, and that starts um, in your very first year of the DPT. Um, you start with um, clinical placement so that you're um, getting accustomed to what it's like to be a physiotherapy from, when, uh, from the beginning, from when you start. Um, you know, uh, graduates, when that, graduates will be eligible to register as a physiotherapy, um, re, uh, register as a physiotherapist um, with the Australian Physiotherapy Council on graduation. Um, if you look uh, on the slide here, it shows you um, some of the information, the documents that are required, and all that information um, is also available on the website. 
one of the important things we do like to stress to students that we'd like to see your academic um, transcripts, both the front and the back of the academic transcript, so we can understand and translate your award, uh, your um, marks from your undergraduate degree. Um, that, that's really useful. Um, and as I mentioned, you, we ask you to complete a personal statement um, with some referee reports, and um, you need to provide evidence that you have met our prerequisites. Um, our applications close on the 31st of January, and we do our best to give offers within a month of that. Um, and our course will be starting, um, the course starts on the 6th of January 2020. So in order to be considered for adopted physiotherapy, you must have a course weighted average of over 70%. Um, and we convert that, if, if you get a grade point average, we can convert that around. So it, it equates to about a 70% um, overall. Um, and we, we, we need to have completed at a, a bachelor's level, a tertiary level, of human biology or physiology, health-related research methods and a musculoskeletal anatomy unit. And we, we do look very, very closely at that musculoskeletal anatomy unit. Um, it can't just be anatomy related to embryology or a general overview of the body. Um, we really need a specific unit on musculoskeletal anatomy. Anatomy is really the foundation of what we do in physiotherapy, particularly musculoskeletal anatomy. So um, if you haven't got that um, musculoskeletal anatomy, you've, um, and if you've enrolled, if you can enrol in a spring or summer summer unit, um, you still, if you've enrolled in that unit, in a unit, you can still apply. Um, and if you complete that unit before um, the end of the year, um, you could still be given a conditional offer. So if you haven't got an anatomy unit, um, you still have time to get um, to get an anatomy unit. So as I mentioned, that in 2020, the Doctor of Physiotherapy is replacing our current um, uh, Master of Physiotherapy, which we've called our GEM course. Um, it is an extended master's. It's not a doctorate degree, or a, so it's not a PhD. In Australia, our graduates can't call themselves doctor, um, but this may be possible in other um, parts of the world. My understanding is in the United States, graduates for doctor of physiotherapy um, use the title of doctor. Um, the course is still, compared to our um, graduate entry master's course, it is still remains the same of 600 credits, so the cost is still the same. Um, and as you can see on the slide here, it's indicative that it will be about 43,400 um, $43, Australian dollars. Um, the duration of the course is now three years, which has increased from two and a half years. Um, and our philosophy around extending the course was to uh, give students um, a little bit more time to absorb the information and give, some, give students a little bit of a break between the years. Gives the opportunity for our international students to go home if they want to. Um, between our second and third year of GPT, um, you may have the opportunity, there may be Eight, to eight week break and also between the set similar time between the first and the second year of DPT that you have that opportunity to go home. But one of the other important things that it does is as um, Steph mentioned that we have a Go Global a, 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 an award winning international placement. By extending our course we uh, and changing one of our units to uh, it's called Global and Diversity um, it means that um, our students have got the opportunity to go on an international clinical placement, which run in the second half of the year. So Go Global is one option. We also have a number of physiotherapy specific clinical placements, um, physiotherapy abroad, um, which also go um, uh, to Nepal and um, other international um, other international places. Sometimes um, some of our Canadian students have been able to um, go home for one of their internet, for, for one of their placements. Um, so by spreading the course out, it just it gives students um, a greater opportunity to take part in these international placements. Um, this next slide shows you um, how the course is structured. Um, I won't go through all the units, but essentially to say that when, when you start the course, there is an intensive six weeks course starting in January. This, I was mentioned this year will be the 6th of January, where essentially you do first year physiotherapy in six weeks. So it's a very intensive course. Um, and then you go straight into year one of the, of the Doctor of Physiotherapy, um, where in the first year you work very closely with our undergraduates because these are our foundation units um, where you're learning you know, the essential um, foundations of physiotherapy. Um, in second, in, um, as in the 
second year, so I'm just actually going to move to the next slide. Sorry, this is our, <laughs> sorry, that was our master of physiotherapy, but I'll just show you. Um, so for, because the study period by in year two is actually slightly different. So uh, again, so the first, the first, the first period is the same. Um, year one is, as I said, we work with our undergraduate physiotherapist um, and, and do a uh, very closely run with the Bachelor of Physiotherapy course. There is the opportunity, um, because of the changes, that there is one, um, one or possibly two units that you may be able to get some um, credit for, particularly if you've got an exercise science degree. Now, we don't um, guarantee that, but it's certainly if you've got an, a strong exercise science background, um, when if you um, have done some uh, pathophysiology, there may be opportunity for you to get some, um, some credit for those units. Over between first and second year, we have one clinical placement, which is four weeks. So that means that there is um, another eight weeks where you've got the opportunity to um, perhaps go home. Um, in the second year, you're working more in a group um, uh, specific to doctor of physiotherapy, to the doctor of physiotherapy course, where you do some um, standalone units. You often you work quite closely with the undergraduate students, but you also have some different um, classes as well and different assessments. And in your final year, we're um, in year three of the Doctor of Physiotherapy. Essentially, you're doing clinical placements and uh, a very advanced level of evidence based physiotherapy. And just a little bit, a, a little bit of um, background as to why we actually changed the course. Um, what we were finding that our students over the two and a half years, essentially, we were doing already doing a, a, a an extended masters. We're finding that um, for our students, that um, they were for the students that were struggling with, with the intensity of the course, and we found by extending it to three years, uh, we feel that it will give students a bit more of a break and time to absorb um, the knowledge that they um, have acquired each year. Um, as I mentioned before, that we've got the opportunity for students to take part in international placements, such as Go Global and Physiotherapy Abroad. Um, this course is unique. It's the only um, course offered of its kind within Western Australia, uh, in Western Australia, um, and it's the least expensive um, doctor physiotherapy course in Australia. Um, one of the the other unique thing about um, doctor physiotherapy, or in fact studying at Curtin, is being able to study in Western Australia. Um, I think I, Western Australia is a hidden gem, and I think that. Many people forget that Western Australia actually exists, um, but we have, compared to other states, I mean, I, I'm originally from New South Wales, and, and really Western Australia is such a pleasant um, surprise. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful lifestyle, so I think that that's you know for spending three years in Perth is a wonderful um, is a wonderful thing to be able to do. Um, it also one of the other reasons it changed um, was that we wanted to. Um, Extend our opportunity for international students, particularly from North America, because the because the course has changed to a doctor of physiotherapy. It does um, increase um, the opportunities for students to be registered in the United States. So that's all I specifically have about the course, and I'm really open to um, answering any questions about the course. Thanks everyone for coming. Um, I'll just quickly confirm you don't have any questions for Sharon or even myself about Curtin or WA or Perth. Ah, okay, there you go. I couldn't hear it. No, no. So, um, so just asked how many hours of placement. Oh, sorry. Maybe talk about the blocks. Okay. Sorry. You want to ask that question again? How many hours? Are, so, in terms of how many hours of the clinical placement there'll be, um, overall throughout the course, there's over a thousand hours of, of clinical placements. Um, they're spread in the first year of doctor physiotherapy. There are a number of clinical visits, um, which are short, shorter duration, and um, at the end of that first year, you'll be going on a four-week clinical placement. In second year of um, DPT, we increase the clinical hours, and in the fourth year. Uh, sorry, the third year of GPT, it's all clinical placements um, except for the evidence unit. Um, in relation to Jazz's question on do you have a cut, do you have a GPA cut off? Um, so we're looking, um, I don't know what it equates to in terms of a GPA, and we have our, our international admissions office um, assesses um, your uh, academic record. 
but for us it equates to an overall average of about um, 70, which I think is close to a B, um, a B average. Um, and there's another question, just whether what is the total cost of the pro program in Canadian? Um, I, I, I can't tell you exactly what it is. Um, it's around 120, 125,000 Australian dollars. So you really just have to look at how Canadian dollar is going um, against the um, Australian dollar, which um, Australian dollar is not very high at the moment. So it's probably it's a good time. Um, Australian dollar has been historically higher and it's quite low at the moment. Um, what is the actual admission grade? Um, so we don't. What what we will we do is we look at all applications. So if, if for example, um, Nathan, if you're talking about the admission grade, if your undergraduate degree um, was perhaps the first year wasn't great, but you know you improved as the years went on, and particularly you excelled in those um, prerequisite units, um, we would be looking at that. Um, we have accepted people on a grade that was under 70 if they had. If there were other things about their application that was that really stood out that they may have been working in the industry. They may have, um, as I mentioned, sometimes when you know students start in first and second year, they're just getting used to university, but they've really excelled in their in their third year, or if they've done an, um, an honours degree or a master's degree um, in addition to their undergraduate degree, or as I mentioned, that they it could be that they may have been involved as a as a, an elite athlete, and that could explain why their grades may not have been um, as to expect as well as expected. So we look at your overall application. So if you're sitting on that borderline of um, uh, with, your, with your grade point average, um, if it's, it's still worth putting in an application. Um, we, we assess, so it's not we don't just look at the marks. We look at the overall person, um, and we, you know if, if there was something we we're unsure of, we can get back to you. Um, I just wondered if there's any more questions. I'm just hanging here for a minute longer. Um, Thank you again for everyone for coming. Um, if you do have any more questions, feel free to direct them to Com Consultants um, and they'll pass it on to myself or Sharon. Um, oh, sorry, one more question. Is admission on the wrong? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks for that question. Is it on a rolling basis? I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Um, essentially, applications are open and they shut on August the 31st. Um, that's a university policy. Um, that will be open again probably in um, April next year for 2021. Um, you can, uh, as I said, if you, if you um, pass on any specific uh, questions um, to the consultants, they can pass that on to us. And I'm more than happy for, um, for you to direct emails to myself as well. Um, um, oh, is there anything you can add to, to strengthen our personal statement? That's a really good question. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of your, your personal statement, we want to know partly uh, a little bit your motivation for why you would like to be a physiotherapist, why you'd like to study in, in Australia, and what is perhaps unique about yourself that, that might put you um, ahead of another uh, another candidate. Um, what uh, what type of um, uh, work experience you've had? What are your interests in physiotherapy? Um, we're also looking. Um, in your personal statement of, of how you express yourself as well. Um, it's just one piece of information we use to assess your application. It's not, you know, it, it helps to add to the story. Can you? Uh, it's okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Just hang in there if there's any other questions. And please feel free um, uh, through your, uh, through uh, KL consultants to, to be in touch with me. I'm, I can be responsive to. Um, emails um, if you've got any other questions. Yeah, okay. <laughs> On that note, we will finish. So, um, thank you again. And as they have said, uh, this is recorded, so they will be available to you um, in a couple of days. Um, thank you everyone for coming, and um, hopefully, we'll have some of you with us.